COVID-19 is still so new that scientists are learning more about it all the time. And two studies published this month are looking at the link with air pollution. So let's have a look at what they found. In the first study, researchers from Harvard University plotted the most polluted places in the United States onto this, onto the first map. The areas with the highest particulate pollution are in red. The second map shows deaths from COVID-19. And well, you can sort of just make out a correlation there. In fact, people living in the most polluted areas are indeed 15% more likely to die from coronavirus than those living in places where pollution is only slightly lower. Now, to a separate study which, took, which was looking at Italy, and it looked at the regions where coronavirus was proving most deadly. So across Italy as a whole, 4.5% of those known to have caught COVID-19 died from it. This was towards the end of March. But in Lombardy and in Emilia, Emilia Romagna, the rate of fatality was far higher, around 12%. And those areas with higher death rates are among the most polluted in Europe. So again, there is a correlation. But can we know for sure if there is a link? Gretchen Goldman is from the Union of Concerned Scientists, which advocates for science-based policy, joining us live now. Can we, is it just simply too early, or do you think we can categorically state that there is a link between uh, death rates and air pollution when it comes to coronavirus? It is early research, but this is compelling evidence that suggests that air pollution may be playing a role in what makes COVID more deadly. And so this is not to be dismissed. I think it's important research that we need to keep looking at and keep expanding what we know. And given that it's a respiratory disease, is it is it pretty is it, is it pretty obvious that if the pollu if the air quality is worse, it will impact our our lungs more, our capability to breathe? What's what's your understanding of this? It isn't surprising because we know that the diseases that are affected by air pollution are the same diseases that make COVID worse for people. These are underlying conditions like respiratory illness, like cardiovascular issues. Uh, and so it's not surprising, but uh, this is alarming to see this much of an effect as we're seeing from the Harvard study. What about, uh, we're looking specifically, these two studies are looking at uh, the US and also Italy. What about other countries with high pollution rates? I'm thinking specifically places like India. Is there, have, what's the research saying there so far? Has there been a chance to have a look at that yet? I haven't seen research come out of India yet, but I am very concerned about how this will play out in countries with uh, high air pollution rates and other uh, risk factors. I think there is potential for air pollution to be an exacerbating factor in many of these places. Where do you think, when it comes down further down the line, as, a, as scientists, as you study this more, where do you think we'll end up with, with these findings? I look forward to seeing it bro broken down by demographics. Does it affect uh, age or race uh, differently? Do we see it differently in different places? And I hope decision makers use this information uh, both in the short term to decide where resources should go to fight this disease, to limit its impacts, uh, and in the long term to reduce air pollution so people are at less risk of dying from this new virus. And is it too early to say whether it's the whether the virus, whether it's carried on polluted particles in the air or whether it's uh, the pollution that then damages our internal um, internal organs and then that uh, adds to the, the co the, this, this disease having such a devastating impact? It's likely there's a few mechanisms happening. Uh, one of them is that air pollution causes inflammation. We know that it causes inflammation in the lungs, potentially in the cardiovascular system. And when you have inflammation, uh, that makes it harder for you to fight a disease like COVID. And we're seeing uh, COVID patients also uh, are, it is harder to fight it when your lungs are uh, experiencing inflammation, have a pre-existing condition or another irritant. And so it seems like it's a deadly combination. And we don't have that much time, but just briefly, if you would, when it, when it comes to gathering, collating this data, what is it that you as scientists need from the governments? 
Uh, I think we need data to be collected uh, quickly and systematically. We need to make sure that testing is done in a fair and systematic way. Uh, that helps us get at good data sets to be able to study this and uh, the sooner that can happen the better of course 